Welcome to this edition of Fat Tuesday. Hey guys, this week I took another poll on my blog, on my face, or not my blog, my Facebook page, and I asked you what was one thing that was holding you back, and what I've been hearing a lot about lately is motivation. And I thought that would be a great topic on for Fat Tuesday on how to keep motivating yourself so that you can get the sales. Uh, this is Growler. He's my baby. This is one that never leaves me alone. Anyways, motivation. How do we keep ourselves motivated? How do we keep trudging forward when our book sales are down or our writing's not going the way that it's supposed to? And I'm going to give you guys some great tips on how to do that and stay motivated and keep the sales coming in and because it is hard work when you become a published author and it is, you know, you're going to see fluctuations in, in your sales. You're going to see fluctuations in your writing. Some days you're going to feel like writing. Some days you're not going to feel like writing. Some days sales are going to be high. Some days sales are going to be low. So how do we keep ourselves moving forward and stay motivated to keep writing more books and to keep promoting our books? So let's talk about writing first. When you're writing, all you have to do is show up, okay? It doesn't matter even if you just write five minutes a day if you're having a down day, <clears throat> write one page, then let it go for the rest of the day, okay? So just keep moving forward, keep the story going so that you can keep adding to your book and finally get published. The, the next thing is to remember that you are going to be published and what and the excitement that you feel when you're finished with that book and you're sending it to the editor, you finally write that last word and you're like, ah, it's finally done. So think about that. Think about the feelings that you have when you do get finished writing and that'll keep you moving forward. And just remember that you don't have to write it all in one day. Like I said, five minutes one day, an hour the next. You know, you're going to have fluctuations in how you're feeling. Um, I want to show you guys something too. Uh, what another great way, especially for sales, let me get these glasses, they're, they're doing something for you, or reflecting, and I don't like that. So let's talk about sales. When your sales are down, it is very discouraging, right? It's very frustrating, I guess is the word. So how can we keep our sales moving forward or when we're feeling a little discouraged because we're not getting the sales we want? What I want you to do first is set a goal for the month. Start small, work, and then work your way towards more, okay? So let's start small. Start with five book sales for, for the month, okay? So just watch your Amazon pages or your Create Space or wherever you're selling your book from. Watch the statistics, the data that's coming in. If your sales are slinking, think about changing the price. You can either up it or lower it depending on where your sales are at. You can um, try a different promotional avenue. Maybe you want to try Twitter ad. Maybe you want to try a LinkedIn ad or a Facebook ad. You can do Google, <coughs> um, the Google AdWords. You can add space, you know, add your book there with a little blurb. Um, <clears throat> the thing is that you want to try different avenues. If your sales are slinking from what you're doing right now, add another avenue to get to increase them sales. And in order to keep motivated, I want to show you something what I did. Let me just grab this for you. Can you guys see this? What I did was I printed off a New York Times bestseller and I photoshopped it so that it would show my book with my name, I guess it's over this way, and my description. See that? Paperback Mass Market, number one bestseller, New York Times bestseller list. Create photos of things that you want to achieve eventually. It doesn't, you're not going to, you know, you may not achieve it tomorrow, but keep the, the big picture visible so that you can see yourself what you want to accomplish one day so if you want to be a bestseller bam 
item. Just look at your picture that you drew with the New York Times bestseller status on there and just add Photoshop it. You can, GIMP is a free program you can use. Um, another free program is photobucket.com and Flickr. I mean, you can edit all this stuff in there. So feel, you know, edit it and make it your own. and. Make Keep yourself motivated. That'll help keeping you push forward because you'll see it every day. I have it hanging right on my wall next to my chair wherever I'm working because I have a computer here. I have a computer in my office. I have my laptop. So I have it where I can see it. There's a copy in my office. There's a copy on my com on my wall here so that I see it. So when my sales are low, I either change the price or I try a different avenue. So for writing... Make sure that you think about the feelings that you have when you do get finished and you get to upload it to Amazon and you get to let your readers know that it's finally here. Think about that feeling to keep you motivated. On the days you don't feel like writing, five minutes. Just write a page or five minutes worth of writing and let it go. And for sales, try a different avenue and post pictures of what you want to achieve. If you eventually want to buy a new house, post a picture of your new house because that will keep you trying to sell your book and get more sales. Um, if you want to be a stay-at-home mom and you want to leave the corporate world, picture yourself, get a picture of you sitting on your couch or sitting in your office working from home. So that, when you look at that, it will keep you motivated. Okay, well that's Fat Tuesday for this week. I hope you guys... Have a great week, and if you have any questions, drop by our Facebook page at Book It BK Walker. I changed the name, or you can leave a comment on the blog, or you can email me at Book It BK at BKWalkersCafe.com. Okay, have a great week, and I'll talk to you next week.